Okay, you guys, hey, welcome back to another episode of Schofield Welding. Guys, we are getting ready to start TIGging a little bit, all right? I've been doing it for about a week, and it's mostly just to get my hand back into it. I have not TIG welded in probably three and a half years. Oh, in some of the previous Money Mondays, I was talking about, hey, you gotta be able to step your game up. Learn new skills to maintain your amount of income, all right? I get asked all the time, what is the push for TIG welding? What is the push to learn how to do that when you're already doing this, you know, downhill and uh, a little bit of LH? Guys, it's more for value. Um, a lot of it is value. A lot of it is for me to have the ability to walk into a company or a contractor or whoever and be like, man, you got stainless, no problem. I can do it. If you got downhill, I can do it. If you got uphill, I can do it. But if you do not take the time and actually go through this process of coming out here on a Saturday, okay, today's Saturday, I don't have to be doing this, but I'm doing this to better myself. Coming out here on a Saturday, stringing leads, sitting out in the cold, cutting coupons, doing whatever it's gonna take to get you to the point of where you need to be, um, it's gonna be a long, rough road. So, that is what we're doing. I'm trying to create value in myself that when somebody hires me, they know I can do everything they need done. So, only way to do that is to learn to TIG too. So I'm gonna start dragging leads. Let's get this thing all hooked up. Let's start welding, all right? Everybody be blessed. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification button for any time we upload a video, you guys are notified first, all right? Thank you for everything you guys do. We love you. That's why we keep building these videos because we enjoy building the videos and we enjoy listening and being able to comment back most of the time. I do try to comment as much as I can, but uh, I also do have a you know 12 hour day job. So everybody be blessed. We'll talk to you here in a bit.
guys. So, uh, as you can tell, I kind of freehand everything. And I, I don't know why, it's just so much more comfortable for me. So I'll actually freehand in the root and then I will hop past it and freehand in a feel. And I can walk the cup on a cap. I give it that real good looking snake skin look, but I don't know why on the feels and all this, I just like to freehand everything. It's just, it's a lot more comfortable for me. I feel a lot more in control of it. And I don't know, it's just something Something that I like to do, and it seems to be working. But uh, so right now I'm hot passing this. I'm on about 130 amps. I'm running an eighth-inch TIG wire, eighth-inch tungsten with a number eight cup, and I'm just freehanding it. I'm just walking it up, kind of like you would LH a little bit, and then just kind of feeding a little bit. But I'm not really trying to hog in a huge hot pass. Now I know there's a lot of guys that can, and there's a lot of guys that are just freaking phenomenal at this, and they can basically flush this whole thing out in a hot pass. Me, I'm still learning. I'm just trying to keep it clean, trying to keep it real pretty looking. I mean, I figured technique, and trying to keep things really clean and nice is going to help me in the long run. But, uh, and then later on down the road, just like with the downhill stick welding deal, eventually you start picking up little tricks and you kind of can start telling what that puddle's doing and that allows you to, the ability to stack iron and just really put a lot of iron in that pipe because you know how to do it and you understand that, hey, this thing's clean, there's nothing alive in it. like. It's your ability to read that puddle. Now right now on the TIG deal, I can't really read the puddle that well. So I'm just trying to make sure it's all clean and I'm trying to just make sure that it's flat and nice and pretty and just trying to make that technique good and then the speed and the, being able to stack a lot of iron in this thing, it'll come up later. But Jet's just pulling in right now. Truck's looking pristine. Got her all washed up. But uh, anyways, you guys, we're just gonna keep going. I'm gonna get this side hot past. Probably hop past all three of these sides, come over here, hop past all these, and then start putting fillers in everything. So stay tuned, let's make it happen. I didn't do exactly what I said I was going to do. I figured I'd fill and cap all these and then lay out two more of these. Instead, I really, really focused on just filling them up. I wanted to fill them all the way up and I did. I tried to walk the cup a lot on, on it, but like the bevel kept catching it. And I don't know what it is about walking the cup trying to fill it up. I just don't overly like it. But uh, I freehanded all the, all the fills and then I walked this cap freehanded this cap and uh, haven't capped that one yet but uh, guys I think we're welding a little bit harder than most people probably would and and I've talked to a couple people today and they're like man you got to turn that down you got to turn it down and when I do it just it's such a slow like I want that I want it just to melt off melt off melt off melt off you know I want it to be pretty quick but um, Still got a little color. I, I went ahead and I grabbed a stainless rod just to see what would happen. And yeah, I got color. Uh, it's a gold, kind of a light blue color. 
on this cap and then the rest of them are carbon so they're pretty much they're not black black but they're pretty black but uh anyways we're gonna go ahead the camera's about to die and so probably some of the things i've, I've learned today is i like to weld this a little bit hotter um one thing i was trying to do on the bottom i, I was trying to get all the way under there so i could watch that arc right Towards the end, when I started capping or filling this side, I started realizing that if I could just sit back and watch the back side of that tungsten, I could almost make that thing just like glassy flat all the way across it. So something else I learned today is just not to be right up into the into the arc. I kind of sitting back and just watching the back side of that a little bit. You guys, tell me what you do for a, for an eighth inch rod. So I take a 532 gap, eighth inch root. And then 8th inch hot pass, 532 fill, 532 cap. What are you guys doing for heats on that, all right? Let me know. Everybody be blessed. Hope you enjoy. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to cap this side right here real quick. And, uh, and I think we're going to call it a day. Hopefully the camera don't die before it's all said and done. So hurrying and quick, I'm gonna show you this really fast. Uh, hopefully you guys can see it. About the third cap for the day, so let me know. Got a little arc mark right there. All right, got a little bubbled up right there. Skipped right there. But this is the one I did a little earlier. With the stainless, that was the first one. That was freehand, and it, man, I tell you, it sure looks a lot better when you can walk the cup. I don't know, walking the cup sometimes, uh, but it hurts my back to get all the way under there. But it's all stretching and working out from there. But anyways, you guys, hope you enjoyed. Be blessed. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys are running your heats on and stuff. Let, let's let's hear some tips. I mean, my word, it's. I definitely don't know everything, and I am very willing to admit that I don't know everything. And, you know, I'm just here to learn. I'm just trying to get better at what I do, try to increase my skills, try to increase my value. And some of you guys are freaking bosses when it comes to TIG, all right? You guys have little tips, you guys have little things. What do you run your heats on? Let's hear it in the comments. Everybody have a great rest of your night. Be blessed. I'm going home to go hang out with my family. Go see my baby boy and my wife, all right? So, we'll talk to you guys here in a bit. See ya. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high